You're watching Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. He's glad you're with us. Our guest, Jan Perry. Jan is a member of the Los Angeles City Council, also a candidate for mayor in Los Angeles. That election is in 2013. I think back, I've seen beautiful photographs mm -hmm. of Central Avenue, yeah. the jazz corridor for Los Angeles. It really brings us back. But the good news is you and your colleagues and community organizations are working to bring that jazz history back to uh, Central Avenue, to D Dunbar, the Dunbar Village, actually. Right, right. It's very exciting. We broke ground with the Coalition for Responsible Community Development and Tom Saffron and Associates just a little while ago, maybe a month ago, for the renovation, for the rebirth right. of Dunbar Village, which includes the buildings on either side, either side Dunbar, uh, Dunbar in the middle, the hotel, right. and then Somerville 1 and 2. This will be intergenerational housing. It was a moving experience to stand there and to look at what it once was and to see the renderings of what it will become. Now, is Dunbar and the entire revitalization of Central Avenue at risk because the state, as you know, has eliminated redevelopment agencies? Well, we have a number of projects that are at risk. Uh, um, we haven't done an assessment yet on Dunbar. The other two, several projects that you uh, allude to are done. Right. They're, they're already open. Right. But uh, there's projects that are at risk all over the district and uh, so, in South LA. So what is the city doing to address the, the really the assault on redevelopment? I mean, yeah. uh, come a month or so, it's these over. agencies need to be closed down pursuant right, to state absolutely. law. Absolutely, we are we are scrambling to define a dissolution strategy. We are scrambling to get a legal interpretation as to what projects can be included in pipeline uh, right. decisions versus which projects cannot. Because you have approved hundreds of millions of absolutely, dollars on projects absolutely. and those will move forward? Well we encumbered the money uh, to be able to move those projects that were in either pre-development or development mm -hmm. uh, so that we could get them done. It does mean that we can't start anything new but Dunbar was substantially far enough along that I, I, I'm hoping that we can keep moving. What about the uh, intended football stadium? Yes. Will that be impacted by the elimination of redevelopment or is that a separate That's a separate animal? issue. The separate issue. Um, you know, the city was going to retain its underlying ownership of the property on which the stadium would be built. Right. Uh, the stadium was going to be built with private funds anyway. So uh, where are we? Come well, on, we want well, our football. You know, we, I want a team. We <laughs> right. need a team. Is that really it? That, it all hinges on uh, them signing a team. So I don't know how much you can say, but to the extent what you can say, if you know anything, I mean, yeah. are we looking for an expansion team? Are we no, looking to um, plug? We are looking no, to have a, a real franchise. Or that's going to move? Franchise. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of last year, there we were, are not looking. AEG is looking for that. Well, can city, can leaders in the city play a part in the luring of a team, or is it really not well, appropriate? Well, you know, I mean, we are free to express ourselves. I actually went to see the commissioner when I was back east just uh -huh. to say, you know, hello, and is there anything else we can do? And <laughs> right. So what ready. are you going to get? How right. about it? Right. But. Uh, you know, it's their, their money and they're making the acquisition of the AEG part, and so it's really up to them to be able to reach a, an understanding with the NFL. Now, as you know, the state legislature, with the uh, s signature of the governor, signed a new law back at the end of 2011, mm -hmm. which will streamline the California environmental quality process, CEQA, Correct. it's known. Um, it was focused on AEG, but it will benefit other projects as Large well. Large projects. Large projects. Yes. And so how important was that? Well, I think it was important, particularly in this economy, that we needed to make clear that we, as a state, give jobs and employment a high priority uh, without compromising the issue of uh, environmental analysis. So was there a balance? Did you yeah, feel I think, as if it I was I think there was a balance because it expedites the process, but it didn't. Uh, destroy the process okay. or eliminate the process. Terrific. Her name is Jan Perry, member of the Los Angeles City Council. I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN.